Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by to encourage us to choose joy, amen. Joy is um, means to rejoice, right? It means to rejoice, it means a feeling of happiness, amen. And joy is an essential component um, that we should have in our lives as Christians. Amen. So biblical joy comes from the Lord, right? And so it is the gladness that's in our heart that comes from trusting in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It comes from us experiencing him. Amen. And it also comes from us knowing him, right? So biblical joy is not based on our possessions. It is not based on our circumstances like worldly joy is. Worldly joy is deceitful, right? It is tricky, right? It is deceptive. Um, it's from the enemy, right? And it's just temporary, amen? And so the joy of the Lord is everlasting, right? And so I read this quote, um, this quote, and it says that joy um, is that inward peace, right? Or sufficiency that is not affected by outward circumstances. So it's that inward peace or sufficiency that's not affected by outward circumstances. So in difficult times that we have um, in life, we can still choose to be joyful. It is a choice. Amen. We can choose to be joyful because of the hope that we have in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Like Paul, Paul exemplified joy in his suffering, right? Remember, Paul was shipwrecked. Paul was beaten. He was in prison. Amen. And so through all of that, though, he um, maintained his joy, right? Second Corinthians seven says that even in basically in, in our affliction, in our trouble, he says, I am overflowing with joy. Amen. So there's some biblical attributes of joy. And I want to share a few and then also reference some scriptures that supports these um, attributes. Amen. So repentance brings joy. Luke 15 says the angels of God rejoice over one sinner who repents. Amen. Joy is a gift from God. Galatians 5 lets us know that joy is one of the fruits of the spirit. Joy gives us strength. Nehemiah 8 tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. So we can rejoice. We can have joy in our trials. James 1 lets us know that it says to count it all joy when we have trials of many kinds. Amen. So the word of God brings joy to us, right? James 15 says, these things I have spoken to you so that my joy may be with you and that your joy may be complete. James 15, right? Proverbs 10 get, uh, lets us know that joy gives us hope, right? There's hope in joy. It says the hope of the righteous brings joy. Amen. Amen. So no matter what it looks like, no matter what your circumstances are, amen, just know that you can always look to the Lord which is your present help. And I encourage us, no matter what comes our way, as the Bible says, to count it all joy. I encourage us to choose joy. Amen. So listen, until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, blessings. Mm -hmm.